Hey guys and gals, Todd from Lowbrow Customs here. We're here today in the Lowbrow Workshop. We're going to show you how to put this gas box sissy bar on this 2004 and up Sportster. They just came out with this new one. As you can see, this is the one we were originally stocking from the gas box. They've made it a little taller. We'll show you the difference right now. If we measure from the lift up to the top there on that one, we got about 20 inches. On the new one, we got, oh, about 24. 24 and a quarter, so she's about four inches taller than the original gas box bolt-on sissy bar 04 and up Sportster. Pretty simple job. You could probably do this in the same amount of time we're going to do it here, except we cheated. We took all the bolts out already. What you're going to find in your stock bike is going to be a fastener with a pan head looking like this, and it's going to have a T40 Torx bit. So you're going to need one of those to take your old bolts out. Two bolts, front and rear, each side, take them out. On the rear, you're going to find a little funky little tab that looks like of that. And on the front, you're just going to see a flange lock nut that looks like of that. Four bolts out. You're going to reuse tab on the rear, nut on the front. Bada bing. You're going to take your new sissy bar. You'll notice you don't have to relocate your turn signals. You're just going to put it on there. We also, I also took the lenses off with just popping them off. If you look on the lens, you'll see it has a spot. Right where that little thing is, there's a slot. And when it's on there, you can just stick a flathead screwdriver, bam, pop it right off. 10 seconds, five, hey, whatever. However long it takes, just get them off of there. Okay, they also have like a little built-in uh, edge ridge there. So it won't mark up your struts. So basically, got your fasteners out. You're just gonna place your new sissy bar. And I'm spreading it open ever so slightly. And it's kind of hitting the seat just a tad. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just slip the new bolts which come in the box with the sissy bar. And you're gonna see there's two lengths. One's a little longer than the other one. Well, we can plainly see that the long one goes in the front because the strut's wider up front. So I've got one of the shorter bolts and we're just going to get that hole lined up there like a so and get it started, get it to hold that on there so I can kind of compress that seat just a skosh to get the front ones to go on. That one went right in. The other side did not. There she goes. All right, so then go ahead and grab your two longer bolts. Slide the front down. Till it lines up with the hole on the motorbike and get her on in there. Bam. Like that. Look at that. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and, once again, nuts on the front. Get her started. Stick your hand up under there. Use those eyeballs in the end of your fingers. Oh, you don't have eyes in the end of your fingers? Well, I do. Nut on the front. Oh, I think I'm blind in that one eye. There we go. Oh, okay. Got her started. Whoop. Okay, so this funky little chinga here, it's gonna face like a dat. And uh, I think we'll grab a T-handle to get these started. And we'll use our uh, socket ratchet because it'll be a little easier to do it like this to start skeeter going 
Bam. Just like that. All right, come on there. And you can see why I took the lens off there. Uh, that T-handle will be running right into that darn thing. Half inch wrench for the front ones. Go ahead and grab our ratchet, uh, ratchet and a 3 16 Allen. That's what size the new fasteners are. We're gonna put her to the on. We got this silly darn reflector right in the darn road here. So get her on there like that. And get her tightened. Whoop. The other one. This side's a little easier to get to because we don't have a bunch of junk in the road. Bam. Tight. Go ahead and final tighten the rear ones. And look at that. Done. Ready to go for a ride. Woo!